ultimately, uh, you know, a growing workforce is, is a source of growth, and immigration can be part of that. that prosperity isn't experienced in all communities. You know, low and moderate income communities in many cases are just starting to feel the benefits of, of this. I, I would point to a couple of factors that I think should be of broad concern. One is the relative stagnation of median incomes and lower incomes. We, we want prosperity to be broadly shared. The other aspect is, is low mobility. Um, we think of ourselves, and, uh, and proudly so, of a, as a country where anybody can make it uh, to the top. Uh, but the statistics show that people who are born in the bottom quintile of, of income or wealth in the United States have less of a chance to make it to the third quintile or the top quintile. Um, but I think it's also important that, that, uh, that Congress retain a level of fiscal space so that, uh, that you can react with fiscal policy, particularly in the event of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a larger downturn, which we don't foresee right now. But uh, c congressional action has been, has been a part of, of those kinds of things, and fiscal policy is, is very powerful in supporting demand in a weak economy. The most successful plans to get back on a sustainable path are those that take place consistently over a long period of time. It's not something that it's wise to make sharp cuts and tax, increase taxes, cut, you know, cut spending really sharply. It's something that should be done consistently and, and stuck to over a long period of time.